All right, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a 30 minute kata as well as a calisthenic workout. So just follow along. I'm gonna do from fugarichi, fugarani, and each time when I do the kata, I'll do the slow version, medium version, and then the fast paced version. And in between, I'll throw in some either deep knee bends or some push up sit ups and just follow along. At any point when you are feeling kind of dizzy, just pause the video, go grab a cup of water, and then come back, turn on the video, and then just practice with me again, okay? Let's begin. Open leg stretching. Here we go. Chi. Ni. Sun. Chi, go, and zikuchi dachi, ichi, ni, san, chi, go, loosening up the hip, ichi, ni, san, chi, go, turn over, loosening up the psoas, ichi, ni, san, chi, go, and the other side, ichi, ni, san, chi, go, and here we go. Circle neck, each, ni, sun, chi, go. The other side, each, ni, sun, chi, go. And circle, each, ni, sun, chi, go. So, sit, ai, ku, ju, forward, each, ni, sun, chi, go. Rook, sit, chi, ach, ku, ju, crisscross, each. Ni, san, chi, go, ruku, sichi, hachi, ku, and ju. Okay, here we go. Ni, turning, out, ichi, ni, san, chi, go, the other way. Ich, ni, san, chi, go. And leg stretch together. Ichi, ni, san, Chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, ju. 45 each, ni, san, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, ku, ju. And sa each, ni, san, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, Ku and Ju. Good. Loosen up the chest a little bit. Um, do a little bit of uh, push ups. I prefer knuckles, uh, padded floor. If you have a hardwood, even better. Yeah, if you decided to do karate already, uh, might as well train those knuckles. Yeah. Okay, just 10. Itch, ni, san, chi, go, rook. Sichi, hach, kyu, chu, hold, and beep. Here we go. Now we're gonna do some punches. Ready? Nice, solid jigger tie. Uh, before the punches, let's go deep uh, knee bends a little bit. Ichi, fingertip to the top of the knee, down, wrist, top of the knee, up, fingertip. Ichi, knee, san, chi, go. Rook, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, and Ju. Rest and shake it off a little bit. Okay. All Cut. right. So now we're going to get into a horse stance. Okay, here we go. Horse stance. Solid punch. Slow. Ichi. So up, turn. Knee and turn. You see how my body angles a little bit? And then this, uh, this knee tuck down this way. So that way, if someone hits you here, um, you can brace with your knee. And I, I have a video here that I talked about that, so watch that video. Knee, slow, sun, chi, go. Roku, sichi, hachi, kyu, ju. Now you may ask, should you leave the chamber hand here 
or should you tuck up here? Uh, I have also a video that I talked about. You should always chamber here. It's more natural for your body versus putting up here where you feel very tense on your bicep. And uh, the tenseness just doesn't make sense, okay? Uh, you might have someone who tells you the interpretation is to elbow somebody in the back. Uh, look, if you're so busy with the front already, you're not gonna focus with someone in the back, okay? But that's gonna be another video in itself. But this one is for the workout, okay? So here we go, now with power. Eight, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sit, high, cool, juice, eight, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sit, high, cool, Juice, eights, knees, sons, cheats, goes, rooks, seats, eights, cooks, juice, eights, knees, sons, cheats, goes, rooks, seats, heights, cooks, juice, rest. Also, if you notice, um, you hear me do the breathing, and it's Some school would tell you, don't breathe too loud. I am the opposite. If you have to breathe, breathe. If you have been watching uh, the boxers, how do boxers box? Every time they're in the ring, or when they uh, practice on a punching bag, and a really strong impact, they have to breathe. It's okay to make sound, okay? Think about it. Why is that in karate, they make you do this ki-hai, ki uh, on, on the number 10th punch, but not every single punch. And the emphasis of ki is to uh, exude power, right? Because you wanna do the ki so you can do the breathing and also uh, that tenseness. Why not do it on every single one? Why just only leave the 10th one, right? So make it practical and just Breathe in every single one because in every single of these punches, these techniques are, are the deadly moves. So don't hold yourself back, all right? Allow yourself to breathe, make sound, who cares? At the end of the day, if other people don't like your sound, tell them don't listen. But you know that your karate is good and you're doing it with 100% effort, okay? Front snap kick, left leading. Eight, down. Knee, down. Sun, down, chi, down, go, ruku, suchi, hachi, ku, ju, down, yes, side, ai, ni, sun, chi, go, Ruku, Sichi, Hachi, Q, Ju. Good. From here, we call a roundhouse kick. Roundhouse kick here, turn legs and kick back. Okay? A, Ni, Sun. Chi, go, ruku, sichi, hachi, kyu, ju. Also, if you notice my roundhouse kick, uh, so our style, we don't go around, we just go up this way, up this way and turn. Okay, so when you go up this way, it can be either one. It can be up, front snap, or it can be up, turn. Okay, so that's a disguise where your opponent do not know what you're about to execute. Okay, the other side. Eight, knee, sun, chi, go, rook. Sichi, Hachi, 
Q. Ju. Good. Okay. Now we do side kick. Same thing. Side kick. Up. Turn. Back. Okay. Go. Ay. Ni. Sun. Chi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Q. Ju. Okay. And the other side. Ay. Ni. Sun. Chi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Q. Ju. Okay. So that's uh, the three basic kicks that we train. Uh, they are more, but for now, let's focus, focus on those three. All right, now we're gonna do blocking. So blocking, uh, I'm gonna share with you our way of doing it. So blocking jigger tie. So you see other school where they do the X and then uh, the thumb this way and then turn like that, turn like that. But we don't do that, okay? We do different, uh, realistically, if you get into a fight, you don't have time for this. That's just, that's just reality. If you get into a fight, it's more of someone punches you quick and you go that way. You go that way. So look at us. I'm just bringing my hand up. This is it. Because it comes so fast, you just do that, right? Up, you want to go up this way, perpendicular, and turn. Up, turn. Now, it looks like I'm doing this, but actually, I just go up and turn. See? Now what is actually moving is my body. So our style, we go here, and see how my body? My body moves, but my hands stay, and then up, back, see? Up, back. So we start like this. Uh, in my other videos that I have, the elbow is actually inside the body, and it goes this way. See? It goes this way. See? See? My body moves. Your body moves at an angle. Right? To block. Your body moves at an angle to block. See, my hand, my hand just moves like that. This is a real block because if they come quick, someone uh, attack you really quick, you just do that, right? Just do that. You don't have time for this. If you have time for this, that means that you know they are coming at you. It's impossible to know what people do, right? They just come to you and just reflex. That's it. But you reflex with your body turn. Why? Because in one of my other videos, I talked about how your shoulder, right, uh, is at an angle, an open angle, um, with your hand like this, right, a, a angle like that, in order for you to uh, block, and then the force will go back to here instead of the force goes back to there. Okay? So here goes block. Sun. Chi. Go. Rook. Sit. Hai. Ku. Ju. So you see me go back this way, but actually execution doesn't happen until when my hand out here, and from here, watch out. Out here, and see here, solid, a square, and turn. Solid, turn. Solid, turn, okay? So power actually starts from here, not from here, people. The only reason why I don't block it like this, because it looks weird, it doesn't look nice. Now, there's two ways to practice martial art. Uh, one way is to practice uh, that it, it is practical when you are in uh, 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 uncomfortable situation, which is, you know, getting into a fight. Or but the other way is you want to practice this way as well, because this way it shows that you are a martial artist, yeah? Uh, you want to represent yourself as a martial artist, but at the same time, you want to show people, hey, uh, if anyone wants to mess with you, they have to think twice, okay? Because um, you don't want to do, look good in, 
in your kata but doesn't know how to apply it, for, uh, apply it yeah? And, at the, the, and at vice versa, you don't want to be like, hey, I, I'm a brawler and I can't even do my kata that looks nice. You want to have that complete system, okay? Okay, high block, same concept, see? Up, so, and see here, together, up, turn, up, turn, up, turn, up, turn. Now, you might have some people who disagree with me and say high block, that the, uh, the high block should be one fist away from the, from the forehead like that. Look, if, uh, if this is how you train, no problem. That's how you were taught. Uh, I highly recommend not to do this. I would highly recommend block out here. Right? I would say block at least one forearm apart from your, uh, your forehead. Why take a risk and block here when, uh, when it's so close to your head? If you have to block something that is this close here, most likely, you know what? Uh, your arm will be broken and your head will be broken as well. You want to take it out here. And I have a video that talks about the leveraging as well. That once you open this leverage at this angle, uh, nothing can penetrate through. Okay, because now uh, this is pretty strong and solid. Okay. So we block this way. Each knees, sons, cheeks, goats, rooks, sits, hikes, coots, jews, eights, knees, sons, cheeks, goats, rooks, eights, hikes, coots, jews, eights, knees, sons, cheeks, goats, rooks, eights, hikes, coots, jews. Good. All right. So if you have to take a water break by now, go pause this video and grab some water. Right now, the next se uh, section is going to be uh, doing katas. Okay. So I'm going to start with uh, forgot the itch. Okay. So now it's the kata time. Okay. We're going to start with uh, fugat ichi. So when we do fugat ichi slowly. It does not mean we do slow and soft. We do slow, continuous, while understanding how to engage our body, okay? So Fugari Edge goes like this. Watch the slow version. So Yoi, sink, and look, block. Hands and legs, almost same one. See how here? And we always block this way. We don't block it straight. We block the angle. And again, I have a video here. Take a look at that. And up, and now, see? And up. Slow and out. Hey, knee, sun, chi, and turn. Chi, knee, sun, chi, and chi, knee, sun, ai. Chi, knee, sun, ai. Ai so, and rest. So every time when my legs um, move with the kata, it goes like this together. We call this neutral stance, yeah? We go from uh, attention stance, meaning getting ready stance, to the intermediate neutral stance, and then the execution stance. So if we stay here, this is uh, um, the yoi stance, yeah? And let's say we go one... Here is the attack. Then we will move this way. This is from here, intermediate. You see, intermediate, you see a gap, and then we go forward, the execution. Okay? Now we're gonna do uh, medium speed. Yoi. Ai. 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 Hi so. Okay. Another thing to notice too is um, when we do our kata. Our hands don't go back up here. We call it the imaginary box out in the front. Because your opponent, the only time that your opponent is able to hit you is they have to be within this box. Okay, if, if they are not within this box, uh, it's, then there's no point of hitting 
or even blocking, okay? So therefore, everything should happen here. If you want chest block, you start here, block. You start here, block. If you want to punch, you start here, punch. Okay, you start here, punch. So the cut the, so when we go back to the next move, we don't bring it here. So wherever our hand lands, we go there. Okay, so take a look at this here. So from here, yoi. See, look, see, itchy, see here, right? I'm going from here down within the box. Here, look, within the box, punch. A low block, within the box, block. Within the box, punch. Within the box, block. Within the box, punch. Within the box, see, punch. Within the box, punch. Okay, so in, within box, high. Within the box, high, box. Okay, and you probably can't see back there. Um, but you got the idea, okay? Now, full, uh, full speed for full got the itchy. Yoi. Okay, so that's uh, Fugarichi, all right? Okay, you, so usually in between the kata, uh, I'll do some squats, and like I said, do some push-up as well, just to get the, the body moving, build some muscles. So squats, we just do itchy, nice solid. Knee, sun, chi, go. Ruku, sichi. Hachi, Ku, Ju. Okay, and then some knuckles down. Here we go. Itch, Ni, Sun, Chi, Go, Rup, Sichi, Hachi, Ku, and Ju. And up. All right. Now we're gonna head into. Fugata knee. Again, uh, anytime you feel that there's a need to grab some water, pause the video and just uh, drink some water. Remember, um, you should always rehydrate yourself, okay? Uh, here we go, uh, Fugata knee. Slow version, yoi. Ichi, see how buddy. Knee, sun. You see how I'm within the box, knee. See how within the box, sun. See within the box, chi. So I'm moving slow, but my whole entire body is very is engaged. Sun, see how, see how I don't go across, it, just go out. Body turn knee, okay, kick, hey, low block, hey, so, and, hey, knee, kick, hey, and, and, and out, and your. Okay, so doing slow, you want to make sure that uh, your stance is solid as well. Okay, doing slow does not mean, does not mean soft. That's the wrong way of being slow. Slow means you got to learn how to be continuous while understanding that your body is aligned the entire time. It's very important, okay? And usually, this took me years to understand that. When people think about slow, they just go slow, slow, no. Slow is engaged here. See, right now I'm doing slow, but my lats, my, I'm sorry, my lats, my triceps, uh, my hip, my quads, and even my feet, uh, both of my feet are grounded to the floor as I'm doing slow, okay? Uh, that, that's more of a, an advanced version. Hopefully, uh, I make more of these kind of videos and then you're gonna understand on how to, get that engaged. Otherwise, um, uh, reach out to me. I'm gonna have a master class and, and we can work one-on-one -on -one and I'm gonna help you how to find that uh, body posture that, um, that's gonna help you take your karate to the next level, okay? Here we go, Fugarani, medium, 
Đấy. Ichi. Ni. Sun. Chi. Ai. 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 Okay. Also, if you notice, my walking stance is not like that. My walking stance is this. Okay. Walking stance is no different from a bow and arrow stance. Okay. This is just lower. This is just higher. But never stand like that. Okay. Uh, I understand that uh, other schools will tell you walking stance has to be natural. Uh, but do some do some digging. Do some thinking about it. Um, do you fight naturally? Uh, naturally naturally like that, um, it's difficult. So why train something that's supposed to be natural, but yet when you try to apply for it, it's not, uh, when you try to apply that in a real scenario, you can't be natural, then, then revisit that thought, okay? Now if we got a knee for power, you right. Okay, so that's full got a knee. And again, you need a water break, pause the video and go take some water. All right, so there you have it. I'm going to end this video with those two katas, full got a itch, full got a knee. I uh, hope you had a good workout with me. If you like the workout, uh, please click like and subscribe. And then in the next video, I'm going to have uh, Pinan's kata, I'm gonna have Pinan Chodan, Nidan all the way up to Pinan Godan, okay? So uh, follow along. If you feel that you need to work out again, just go back to the beginning of the video. I get another workout in with me and uh, I'll see you in the next video.